Hey, Riel, can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, sure. What's up, man? Yeah, I run my own surveying business and I'm <laughs> curious, what makes more sense? Would it be to use a basin rover configuration or just a network rover configuration? That's a great question. And it comes down to what you're doing, where you're working, what your budget is, and a few other questions. But we're gonna explain all of that in this video. So we'll look at five things that you can look for when you're trying to decide on a network rover or a base rover setup. So first we'll talk about setup, which one's easier to set up. We'll talk about the use of area where you can actually use this application. We'll talk about the limitations of each. Why wouldn't you want to use one? And then we'll talk about future proofing. Which one's going to have a longer lifespan and be able to keep up with your company as you grow and develop. We'll talk about the cost. That's very important for both of these. So this video is for two groups of people. One, urban surveyors that are never in the country. They never need to use it. You're a network rover, probably. And then the other group of people that this is for is that mixed surveyor who does a lot of rural work, some urban work, and needs to have the utmost diversified approach when it comes to surveying. So let's jump into it right over here. So we have base rover set up right here. And all you need to do to create a network setup is just take this and walk away. But that brings us to our first point, what's easier to set up. Now clearly a network is easier to set up because all you need is a survey pole and a receiver and a data collector. We actually don't have a data collector here, so let's go get one. So now one of the issues with being easy to set up is that the range is very limited. You need a network. So what a network is, a collection of towers that work as bases for your network rover. So they're getting corrections from the satellites. This is also getting corrections from the satellites. They compare and then they find a very precise and accurate solution. Now, moving on to our next point, there's an issue with that because the receivers that are in the network might not be the most up-to-date receivers like if you were to buy your own base like this over here. So if you buy your own base and network or your own base and rover system like we would have with these two right here, we know that they're the most up-to-date receivers. These, for example, would be seventh generation RTK receivers. They're gonna see the most frequencies, the most constellations, and they're gonna see L1, L2, and L5. A network might not see that. Now, if we're talking about limitations, this setup is the most mobile setup, even though it takes longer to set up, if that makes any sense. So what that means is networks are incredibly limited to urban areas, right? So if we're thinking, oh, I only work in cities and I never go out in the country, network might be a great solution for you. But if you do a little bit of both, maybe some urban, maybe some rural, maybe some very rural. Last night, I was just talking to a guy who does surveying on glaciers is, is what he does. That's his niche. So he really needs a base uh, and rover set up instead of a network rover because there is no cell service where he is. And network rovers rely on cell service. So if there's no cell service where you're working, you need a base rover. That's as simple as it is. Now, another thing to consider is which one's more future-proof. Base Rover is more future-proof because you are not dependent on a network. The corrections you get are entirely dependent on which receiver you choose to use. So if you're using the most advanced technology today, then you will have the most advanced calculations, precision, accuracy available. Even if you have the best receiver on the market, you are still limited by the network that you use. That's a huge downside for network rovers and a huge upside for base rovers. It's a clear winner for base and rover on that option. If we're talking about cost, a base and rover is more expensive right at the get-go. Actually, I think it'd be better if I drew it out here. So in our horizontal line here, we're gonna say that this is time, right? And then we'll have cost. So if we have a network rover, we're gonna say network rover. Network rover is pretty cheap at the beginning, but a lot of networks require a subscription. So in a year, you're gonna have a subscription payment. In a year, you're gonna have another subscription payment. And this is gonna go on and on and on forever. Now, if we have a base rover set up, they're more expensive at the beginning. So we're gonna have two dollar signs, but 
then there's no subscription especially with our Hemisphere S631 and our GeoMeasure Nano 7s, no subscription costs. So right away, you just start making profit. So if we were to map it out, you know, from profit to expense ratio, yes, you start lower with Basin Rover, but then you can go up and up and up and up and up. With a network, it's a little harder to make money. So you start higher, but you kind of just stay, maybe you increase a little bit but you stay like that. So if we're looking to make the most money in our surveying company, Base Rover is a better option. It gives you more flexibility and it keeps more money in your pocket rather than paying some kind of subscription. However, there's a bonus tip. So if your heart is set on a network Rover, but you're not always gonna have cell service and you can live with four cents RMS, then a really good solution is to get the Atlas subscription. You can get it through us. We just add it. You don't need a SIM card. You don't need cell service. And it's gonna give you four cents in that capacity. It's a really good solution if that's the accuracy you need. So which one's better? It's hard to say, you know, it is individually based, but for my personal preference, I would say base rover is almost always the better solution because you have almost zero limitations. You're gonna have the best frequencies and constellations available if you're getting the most new tech. You're gonna have no subscription fees or costs of that nature. So every dollar made is a dollar pocketed. That's for you. And then finally, you can go anywhere with it. You don't need cell service. <laughs> you don't even need to be able to see civilization. It's like an all-terrain vehicle. You can take it anywhere you want. Network rover more like a bicycle you need a bike lane to get where you want to go so if you want to see which option is best for you give me a call i'm real at benchmark and my number is 587-844-5838 i'd love to see which one's better for you guys chat soon